It's a Saturday, and um, I'll maybe look looking a little bit uh, drawn. I can you believe it? I lay in bed last night, wor worrying about cushions. It's given me hiccups. You know. That's how bad it is. I mean, this is now what week number four, and this is what Reichardt and and JP have brought up. Ah, it's, it's dismal. Uh, um, let's get somebody who knows about cushions and get their opinion on it. Mr. Sh Sir. I'm, I'm saying that, I'm saying that because it's uh, purely out of respect. Are, are you well? I'm yeah. I'm perfectly well, thank you. How are you doing? Well, I'm just trying to peek behind you because I can see, I can see something I like already. Yeah, yeah you see, <laughs> this is the sort of stuff. When I mean, I'm talking about uh, cushions and that, this is the sort of stuff I'm talking about. Damn it, man! <laughs> Where have you been? <laughs> okay, let's let's start it this way. How did your company start? It started in 19 Futsac when I used to travel around various parts of Africa buying artifacts essentially for museums and collectors. And in my travels, I used to pick up pieces of fabric. And this is around about 1984. And I'd bring them back and I'd show people, you know, all the things that I'd collected on my journeys. And they'd say, I love that piece of fabric but I'm not going to take it from you because it's just going to sit in a drawer. However, if you were to make something from it, like a cushion or a bedspread or a something, I'd be very interested. And that's actually, it started slowly like that. And um, we really got going when we started going mainstream and supplying people like Woolies and Loads of Living and Furniture City. Um, and then... Um, Essentially, for the past, I'd say since around about 2005, we've been mainly exporting. So, and you know, why cushion covers? You know, supply, supply and demand. Um, people made the demand and I supplied. That's what they wanted. If they wanted something else, I would have made something else. But you know, it's, it, it seems to be the easiest way to change the look of a lounge. Um, or sitting room, and um, with the you know you, you change the scatter cushions, you change the look. So that's what we ended up doing. We we currently our biggest market right now is the U.S. and obviously everything's been affected by COVID. Um, and so getting back to the supply and demand thing, how we've how we survived the last two years was our local business completely disappeared because it was. I mean, our, our local business uh, depends very heavily on tourism. So what we moved, we moved from cushions to masks. And that's what we did for two years. We made masks. Um, but slowly but surely, we're making cushions again. So you just, you really are, are just following trends that people are, are defi defining to you. They're saying, you know what, I'm in a cushion mood. So you go, okay, fine. We're in a cushion mood, and you just carry 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 through that demand. Yeah. You know, what you know, when when China's floodgates opened up all over the world, um, we found that we had to find a niche, and so what we did was we started to focus on handmade product. So we would source our handmade product from. Um, Congo, from Zim, from Swaziland, and in West Africa, we were buying uh, indigo from Burkina Faso and mud cloth from Mali and various handmade products from Niger. And we found once we worked in, in, in a product that was handmade, we created a niche and then we weren't in competition with China. You know, uh, I used to supply many different kinds of things to uh, the furniture and, and home retailers in South Africa. And as soon as China's floodgates opened, they were able to retail products, similar products, 
cheaper than I was able to make it for. So that's why we ended up going into the handmade niche because um, it's something China's not interested in working with. So that, that's what we do primarily is our product all has a very uh, big handmade component to it. Um, and yeah, it's just taken us into different markets. Um, we're not in the mainstream markets in South Africa, but we are in the mainstream markets in the US. Okay, now, if I gave you a task, and I do agree with you that you can change the entire look of a room just by changing the scatter cushions or just by cha changing an aspect of the flooring or of an aspect of a wall. Um, if, I, if I say to you, Brett, help us out of um, Vestrifontein help. Hell. Um, and please give us a few. And I don't mean a lot because you don't need a lot. <laughs> but a few scat scatter cushions that we can throw around and play around with on the show and just let people see what a difference it can make to a set. <laughs> Would you be prepared to do that for us? No, yeah, absolutely. Um, you can, I mean, if you and your team want to give me some guidance and say, go black, go white, go multicolored, go pink, go purple, go large, go small, and just give me a little bit of a tie to brief, and um, I'll give it to you in the next couple of hours if you want. <laughs> I like the way the way the man thinks. Okay, what we'll do is we'll send you a brief for, let's say, eight questions. And we can mix them up and, um, you know what, we'll, we'll even run a competition around this to see who's got the best style, okay? And we invite you to, to, to vote uh, uh, on your style and uh, we'll, throw in, we'll throw in some questions. Is that all right, Brett? That's perfect. I'm up for it. Okay. <laughs> Good man. Um, so... Let's say a week for us to come up with a concept, a week for you to make. Three weeks' time we start. Three weeks? Jeez, yeah. that's a long time. Three hours. I'm, 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 I'm instant. You can do it. You know, we, I'm up for it. Give me the challenge. You can do it in three weeks or we can do it in three hours. Right. We work, we work slowly in television. We do so, so we'll take the three, three, the three weeks. Okay. Throw it at me, and uh, let's see what I come back with. If anyone wants to take a look at your product, how do they get to do that? Uh, my website is www.mjita, spelled M-J-I-T-A, dot com. M-J-I-T-A. Double I T A T A dot com. Jita. Good way. Go 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 look there and then send your suggestions to mansfieldtoday.com and we'll see if your suggestions make it up as well. Brett, thank you very much for chat, chatting to us. We look forward to seeing some of your creations instead of some of this absolute trap on our couches in the in your future. All right, thanks for giving me five minutes on your show and have a lekker one. Okay, my bad. Brent, Brent Sher, Jita. Maybe he'll make this place look better. Otherwise, we'll have to, I don't know, me take my clothes off. No, it's not going to work. That's a surefire killer.